Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on his country's success in hosting and organizing the 32nd edition of the African Cup of Nations. His Majesty the King expressed sincere congratulations to President Al Sisi on the outstanding success of the tournament, wishing the brotherly Egyptian people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today sent a cable of congratulations to the Algerian interim president Abdel Qadir bin Salah on the Algerian national football team's winning of the Africa Cup, Cup of Nations for the second time in history. His Majesty the King wished President Abdel Qadir bin Salah more success and the brotherly Algerian people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on his country's success in hosting and organizing the 32nd edition of the Africa Cup of Nations. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed deepest congratulations to President Al Sisi on the outstanding success of the tournament, wishing the brotherly Egyptian people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Premier sent a similar congratulatory cable to his Egyptian counterpart. Mustafa Madbouli. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today sent a cable of congratulations to Algeria's interim president Abdel Qadir bin Salah on the Algerian national football team's winning of the Africa Cup of Nations for the second time in history. His Royal Highness the Premier wished President Abdel Qadir bin Salah more success and the brotherly Algerian people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar congratulatory cable to his Algerian counterpart Nour al-Din his Royal Highness the Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on Egypt's success in hosting the 32nd edition of the Africa Cup of Nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed heartfelt congratulations on the great success in organizing the tournament, wishing the Egyptian people further growth and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a similar cable to the Egyptian Prime Minister. Mustafa Madbouli. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, sent a cable of congratulations to Algeria's interim president Abdel Qadir bin Salah on the Algerian national football team's winning of the Africa Cup of Nations for the second time in history. His Royal Highness the Premier wished President Abdel Qadir bin Salah more success and the brotherly Algerian people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar congratulatory cable to the Algerian. Prime Minister Nour al-Din Bidoui. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Bahrain strongly condemns the Iranian detention of British oil tanker in the Strait of Hormuz. The ministry calls on Iran to cease its recurring hostile activities and to release its Tina Impero immediately. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs reiterates Bahrain's solidarity with the friendly United Kingdom against all that threatens its interests and supports what protects its rights. The ministry also stressed the need for Iran to halt its irresponsible acts and to stop its continuous threats to maritime navigation. It further calls on the international community to take all the necessary actions to confront Iran and make it comply with the international maritime safety laws and treaties in order to establish international peace and security. Al Fadala tribe expressed their strong disapproval and rejection of the fabrications and lies about the Kingdom of Bahrain, which reflect the bankruptcy of the Qatari regime and strikes against the principles of good neighborliness called for by true religion and confirmed by international convenience and treaties. The family said in a statement that these desperate attempts will increase the people of Bahrain's determination to carry on the march of development, which is carried out by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The tribe called on all sectors of society to stand behind the wise leadership, take a firm stand and express strongly the rejection and strong condemnation of those repeated abuses. 
Anaim tribe has expressed its full alliance and loyalty to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and pride in the landmark achievements attained during his prosperous era. In a statement, Al Naim tribe affirmed its unwavering deep rooted loyalty to Bahrain and its esteemed Al Khalifa rulers, noting that Bahrain will remain an oasis of security and prosperity. Al Naim tribesmen prayed to God to protect His Majesty King Hamad, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and his Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier. In a statement, the Al Naim tribe condemned in the strongest terms the policies aired by Al Jazeera satellite channel against Bahrain and its leadership in an attempt to undermine the kingdom's social fabric. It stressed that Qatar's support for Al Jazeera proves its policies aiming to harm Bahrain, a, con a conduct that contravenes all international national norms and laws. Al Naim tribesmen affirmed that Qatar's suspicious attempts have been exposed and will never succeed thanks to the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad as well as to Bahraini citizens' awareness and adherence to national unity and loyalty to the leadership. Al Bahasan tribe in the Kingdom of Bahrain issued a statement in which it rejected all attempts of foreign interference in Bahraini affairs. The tribe reiterated its support for the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa against such attempts at foreign intervention. The tribe added that it regards such intervention as malicious and that the people of Bahrain stand united against it. The tribe also stated that it rejects the repeated attacks by Al Jazeera television station and all those who attack and support it in Qatar, which the tribe said represent a breach of good neighborly relations. The tribe affirmed its pride and appreciation of Bahrain and its leadership and that it stands united with the rest of the Bahraini people behind the leadership as well as its support for all measures that have been taken to defend against such attacks. The tribe's statement concluded by calling on the people, regardless of their backgrounds, to stand united in support of His Majesty the King and to assert together in one voice their rejection of such attempts of foreign intervention and repeated episodes of abuse against Bahrain. Al Hamadi tribe in Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE has condemned the continuous attempts of the Qatari regime to target Bahrain's security and stability, as well as the cohesion of the loyal Bahraini people, whose members are united behind the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. In a statement, Al Hamadi tribes men stressed that the Qatari regime's alliance with the enemies of the Arab and Islamic nations will increase Qatar's isolation, expressing rejection and and rejection of the fabricated policies aired by the regime-run Al Jazeera satellite channel. The statement affirmed that the Qatari regime's repeated conspiracies will fail and strengthen the Bahraini people's cohesion under its leadership. They reiterated their unwavering alliance to His Majesty the King's leadership so that the progress march spearheaded by the King continues.